Welcome to iLecture Online. Here we're starting a new set of videos dealing with functions and specifically the notation of functions. Because quite often it's just a confusion about the notation that gives us difficulty, not how to actually do the problems. And so here very carefully we're going to walk through how we actually write the notation, how we deal with the notation, how to properly, how to properly evaluate functions, but writing things correctly. And what I noticed, especially when I was a student, that if I didn't do it correctly, I got really confused. So this is supposed to get rid of all the confusion. So, what is the notation of a function? Here I drew on the board two functions. We have y equals x plus 1 and y equals x squared. How do we know their functions? We could do the vertical line test and the line will only cross once across the vertical line going across the board from left to right. So, we see the variable y, we see the variable x. x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. The value for y depends upon the value for x. Change the value for x, you find a corresponding value for y. So we define a function in such a way that y is the function of the variable x. So it depends on the value of x, it's therefore a function of the variable x. And so Again, keep in mind, the value of y depends on the value of x. So how do we write that mathematically? Well, instead of writing y equals x plus 1, we can realize that since y is a function of the variable x, we can write y equals f of x. So the way this is written is y equals f of x. That's how it's pronounced. That's how it's said. That's how we claim this term to be. Y is a function of x or y equals f of x. Now what we can then do is since y is equal to x plus 1 we can write that f of x equals x plus 1 and this is the notation of a function. We have a function of the variable x and what is the definition of the function? The definition is that f of x equals x plus 1. So this is, whoa, I dropped my pen. I get so excited sometimes. I lose control of myself. So here we go. f of x equals x plus 1. So what this means is that the function of the variable x is defined as being x plus 1. Now, of course, we have another function. The other function is y equals x squared. So since y is a function of x, it's, well, we already used the letter f. We can use the next letter, g. So y equals g of x. Again, g represents the function of the variable x. It doesn't matter if we use f or g or h or i, doesn't matter. Just pick a letter, but we usually use the letter f as being the representative of the function. Obviously function f, that makes sense. So here we can say that g of x equals x squared, so the function g of the variable x is defined as x squared. And that's how we say that. It's defined as what is on the right side of the equation. So this is how we notate a function. So when we say notation of function, that's exactly what it is. A function of the variable x equals x plus 1. A function of the variable x equals x squared. So that's how it's done. If you have more than one function, we typically use two different letters. We usually start with f, then we go to g, then we go to h if we have to. And that's typically how it's done. Now we're also going to learn how to evaluate a function and how to do that correctly as well. And again, I'll show you some pitfalls that we fall into as students when we don't do it correctly, how we can get confused. And I want to get rid of that confusion. So very carefully, we're going to look at the notation and how to write things when we're evaluating functions, because that's really important as well. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that as well. When, uh, when the function notation is also stated that for every x, there's only one y. Correct. Since these are functions, for every one value of x, there's only one corresponding value for y. That's also the definition of a function. That's right. That's important to note. All right. So let's do the next one, and we'll show you how to evaluate a function. Even, late, even later on, did they ever talk about if you ever, because why not, all equations is a function later on, even when it's not quote-unquote a function. Like when the physics equation or whatever, whenever you graph anything, even when you graph a circle, obviously it's not a function, but nobody ever calls it, it's a relation. 
It's true, there are a lot of equations that we use in the sciences that are not strictly speaking functions, but we use them anyway, they're equations, yeah, yeah. and we evaluate them that way. So the word function is, becomes... Yeah, and quite often there's two possible answers to the physics equation, yeah. and one of them is ignored for physical reasons, the other one is accepted, yeah. yeah. So or maybe much, both of them are acceptable. So pretty much an equation, it's just called a function. Whether it's truly mathematically a function or a relationship, it's just called a function. Yes, but strictly speaking, when we talk algebra, it has to be the definition that is only one value for y for every one value for x. I know, yeah. but after, after algebra, that goes to the wayside. Uh, yes, somewhat, yes, you're right. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right.